Are we alone in the universe? For centuries, scientists and space enthusiasts have been fascinated by that question. Proxima b, an exoplanet located far beyond our solar system, has given new hope to those searching for extraterrestrial life. With the James Webb Space Telescope, we may finally find solid evidence of alien existence. The JWST has made an amazing discovery, but it may force us to re-evaluate our plans for space exploration. Join us as we explore the latest findings of the James Webb Space Telescope on Proxima b and discover what this means for humanity's quest to understand the universe. Let's begin by understanding what exoplanets are. Planets that orbit stars other than our Sun are known as exoplanets. The first two exoplanets were discovered orbiting a pulsar in 1992, and the first one confirmed to be orbiting a star like the Sun was in 1995. Now let's focus on Proxima b, an exoplanet located roughly in the middle of the habitable zone of the Proxima Centauri star. Of all the commonly known exoplanets, none commands as much interest as Proxima b, and the high level of interest will only continue with the new James Webb Space Telescope. Because of its potential to support life, Proxima b is one of the most exciting exoplanets. Its existence in the habitable zone of its star means that water could exist on its surface, a key ingredient for life as we know it. The conditions on Proxima b, on the other hand, are far from hospitable, and any life that does exist there would most likely be very different from anything we've seen on Earth. But let's imagine for a moment that Proxima b is a potential destination for future space travelers. What conditions would they face on this distant exoplanet? The density of Proxima b is 40 times that of the Sun. This means that Proxima Centauri's tidal force on Proxima b will be 939 times greater than the Sun's tidal force on Earth. As a result, Proxima b is most likely tidally locked to Proxima Centauri, presenting the same face to the star at all times. As a result, there would be a desert-like hot side and a deep frozen cold side. However, a twilight zone band would exist around the planet's mid-region, with the star always just above or just below the horizon. The temperature in this region would not be extremely cold or hot. A tidally locked planet has advantages because solar energy farms would always produce electricity. The energy could then be distributed to other parts of the exoplanet that require it. Colonists could choose any average temperature they wanted and hide from solar flares by keeping dangerous Proxima Centauri just over the horizon and out of harm's way. The colonists, on the other hand, would have to adjust to less sunlight. The light that the human eye can see is only a small fraction of the sunlight that shines on Proxima Centauri. The sunlight from Proxima Centauri has a peak at 950 nanometers, which is well into the infrared, and then rapidly drops off in the visible region, with the visible light strongly skewed towards the red. If the Sun's and Proxima Centauri's light were equal at the red edge of the visible spectrum, the light from Proxima would be 10 times weaker at the violet edge so don't expect to get a nice tan by lying on a beach at Proxima b. Proxima b, like Earth, yields gravity. If Proxima b is spherical with a mass of 1.5 Earth masses and the same mass density as Earth, its surface gravity would be around 1.145 g or 11.22 meters per second squared, which is about 14% greater than on Earth. However, there is another variable that can significantly alter this calculation. If Proxima b has the same mass density as Mars, or 3.93 grams per cubic centimeter, its surface gravity would then be 0.866 g's, or 8.5 meters per second squared, and you would weigh 14% less than on Earth. However, even if humans manage to adapt to the extreme conditions on Proxima b, there's still the possibility of toxic alien life. This is because life on Earth evolved under specific conditions, whereas any life on Proxima b would have evolved under completely different conditions. Perhaps the biggest concern when it comes to toxic alien life on Proxima b is the possibility of encountering organisms that are toxic to humans. In fact, scientists have theorized that any alien life on Proxima b could be toxic to humans. So what exactly do we mean when we talk about toxic alien life? 
It could be any form of life that produces or emits lethal substances or radiation to humans. On Earth, for example, we have organisms such as botulinum bacteria, which produce a potent toxin that can cause botulism, a potentially fatal illness. Similarly, alien life on Proxima b may produce toxic substances or radiation that is hazardous to humans. But how likely is it that there will be toxic alien life on Proxima b? That's difficult to say. We still know very little about this exoplanet and its possible habitability. But we do know that Proxima b's star, Proxima Centauri, emits high-energy radiation that can produce highly reactive chemicals like ozone and hydrogen peroxide, which can be toxic to life. But how can we tell if there is life on Proxima b, especially if it's an intelligent civilization with advanced technology? One method is to look for signs of artificial illumination which would indicate the presence of cities or other light-emitting structures. To accomplish this, we require a powerful telescope capable of detecting the faintest signals from distant planets, which is where the James Webb Space Telescope comes in. It's equipped with a suite of scientific instruments that will enable astronomers to study exoplanets in unprecedented detail. The Near Infrared Camera, or the NearCam, is one of these instruments, and it's used to detect the light emitted by Proxima b. But how can we tell the difference between natural and artificial lighting? The answer lies in the curve of the planet, which is a graph that shows how the brightness of the planet changes over time as it orbits its star. If Proxima b is illuminated by a natural source like a volcano or a strong magnetic field, its light curve will be irregular and unpredictable. However, if it's illuminated artificially, like by streetlights or city lights, the light curve will be regular and predictable, similar to that of an LED light source. We can tell whether Proxima b has natural or artificial illumination by analyzing the curves. But how can we know in advance what to look for? The JWST Exposure Time Calculator comes in handy here. Before the observatory launches, astronomers can use this tool to predict what can be detected in any given time period based on predefined settings, allowing them to determine the possibility of detecting different flux values and detecting those with a wavelength that matches artificial light levels that should be expected from a civilization forced to live in permanent darkness. In that case, the light shining onto the permanent night side should be extremely powerful, increasing the likelihood of detection with JWST. The JWST will be able to demonstrate the existence of artificial illumination for standard LEDs 500 times more powerful than those found on Earth, as well as artificial illumination of comparable magnitude that can be found on Earth. Of course, crewed missions are currently impossible, but Project Breakthrough Starshot is attempting to develop tiny nanoprobes capable of traveling at 10 or 20% the speed of light to visit the Centauri system. This mission is being led by Andrew Simeon of the University of California, Berkeley, and it's being funded by Russian billionaire Yuri Milner. Also in 2017, the Breakthrough Liston project made headlines when it detected a strange signal emanating from Proxima Centauri. The signal, known as BLC-1, was unlike anything else encountered by the project. While the origin of the signal is unknown, its discovery has piqued the scientific community's interest in the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. Who knows, maybe one day we will receive a message from our new neighbors, expanding our understanding of the universe and our place in it. We hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe, like the video, and watch these ones as well.